What's up, y'all, and welcome back to part two of this big old scorpion feeding video that's been so exciting so far. We had like three takedowns from baby scorpions and no takedowns from all of our deadly ones. This is Hot and Tata, Franz Verneri, number two. It's so funny how these deadly scorpions are the ones that are freaked out by and ultimately run away from the prey. There's a look at another of my hot and tight Franz Verneri. This is a very beautiful scorpion. That's why I got him. I had I bought one. A week later, it died. It pissed me off bad enough, and I was determined enough to have some more of these that uh, I went and cut a deal with Pinchers and Pokies and got the last four that he had left. And although I haven't caught any really awesome uh, hunting footage or anything out of them yet, they're still a really neat looking scorpion. And they may get more, you know, kind of scorpion-like and aggressive when they get older. But for right now, they're pretty cool to look at as little tiny beings. It knows that there's other creatures in its house, but it's not quite sure what to do with them yet. So we're going to move on to another one. Okay, so next up in my collection overview, this is Hot and Tata Franz Venere number three. We anticipated doing the exact same thing that the other two did, but at least we see that they are getting fed, their food getting into their enclosure. That, that was actually a few more than I wanted to put in there, but I'm sure that it will take care of all of them. See, they, they become aware that something else is in their environment really quickly, but they're just not as quick to attack as as tarantulas, at least not some of them, you know. It seems like the deadlier ones are so much more skittish of their prey, so we're going to move on to another one here. All right, up next is one of my most uh, feisty scorpions as far as attitude goes. As soon as you uncover him or her, it's ready to fight. This is the Laoris conquestriatus, or the Deathstalker scorpion. It goes by many other names, like the yellow Israeli death scorpion or something or other. But, yeah, it is the death stalker scorpion. This is another one that could be lethal to some humans, although if you're a healthy adult, you may not die, but you might wish you were dead for a few days. Again, this is another one I don't expect any lion or cheetah-like hunting behavior out of. I don't know why they seem to be so freaked out by their prey. See, a tarantula most of the time would have spun around and grabbed a hold of that thing, not even giving it a chance to move away. But there you go. Laorus conquestriatus, the death stalker scorpion. On to the next. And next up is the fourth and final Hottentata Franz Verneri. As you can see, all of them are still alive and well. Which really thrills the heck out of me, especially since the first one of these I got died a week later. And I don't know if it's going to be any more of a hunter than these other deadly scorpions were. I just can kind of just look on for a few seconds and see what's going to happen. That cricket appears to be dead. Nope, it's not quite dead. So the last time I fed these guys, I had to take some uh, some pre-killed crickets that were actually about the size of these scorpions, or, or actually a little larger, and I had to kill um, about 8 or 10 pre-killed, and then put them in, and they were only eating like a part of the head, and that was it. So I haven't really gotten any kind of takedowns out of these guys, but there is the look at my final Hot and Tata Franz Verneri. You can see they spend more time running from their prey, I don't understand that. Um... Next up is my Scorpion Communal, which is now one more member shy, and then I've got a Tarantula Sling to feed. Okay, guys, so I shoo them all off the bark and everything and get them out here, and I huh, I got quite a surprise. I said that this Communal was one member short. It was actually two members short, leaving it, and there's a takedown right off the bat. Leaving the final count right now on my Arizona Bark Scorpions, guys, 
at three. You know, I got six, and a week and a half, two weeks afterwards, while we were feeding them, we looked in, and there was only five. There was only five for quite a while, and then everybody started molting. And when I looked in here yesterday, there were these three that had molted. You can tell because they are starting to get those dark strikes across their back. And then there was another one that was in pre-molt. And again, guys, a lot of these scorpions have kind of gone without food besides some pre-killed type stuff that I've been offering them. Because that's all I've had. They haven't really had any live prey. So they haven't really had a chance to hunt and things like that. So I'm just assuming that they've eaten each other. And if that's the case, then my track record is terrible with uh, baby invertebrate communals. Because I end up causing them to uh, eat each other because I can't keep them fed. But there we go. That is my Arizona bark scorpions. We're now down to three. And another takedown. Okay, guys, let's move on to the tarantula sling. I just wanted to show you this real quick, guys. This is one thing that happens with some some certain scorpions, I guess. I don't know. These Arizona barks, at least, when they're hungry. Uh, one other feeding video I did, we had the same thing. They go to fighting over the cricket. And these guys have actually fought from one side of the enclosure to the other since I shut off the camera a while ago. And there they go again. Pardon my southern accent with a while ago. A while ago. You can see they've got their pinchers in their jaws full of crickets. They are hungry. Now they are feasting and they are happy. This other one still hasn't made a kill. Maybe it's hoping to snatch one away from one of the other ones, but whatever. Uh, let's go on to my scorpion sling. Alright, and up next we have a very hungry Brachypelm albiceps. Now this guy molted, oh, about two weeks ago. Um, I think I might have offered a pre-kill cricket to it, but it did not eat it. So this thing, uh, I'm sure, is quite hungry. It's been a couple of weeks since it's eaten. Now it spent most of its time in a hide or running to its hide like it just did there. Um, before it molted, and then, of course, after it molted, it was still doing a little bit of that. But it has started to spend a lot more time out of its enclosure. It even has started climbing, so... Um, it has been out essentially on the on the search for food and has been looking for it and has not been able to find anything but today I have given it some food now I don't know if we're going to get a takedown because that looks like a little behind to me a little tarantula booty I don't know these crickets are so tiny all these animals are so tiny I mean this this tarantula is still at kind of that delicate sling stage. It is so much harder to maneuver these critters. Oops, that really did it. Well, I don't know if we're going to see it hunt. We st I still have not. I've seen this. I actually witnessed this albiceps take down a cricket, uh, a very small cricket, um, before the last molt, right after I stopped the camera. Uh, it took one down, but most of the time I don't see it take down its food. It just grabs it later, so since that was so boring, I'm going to finish off with a couple of more of these uh, Cuban bark scorpions. Maybe we can get some more cool takedowns, and hopefully next time we can get a better look at my Becky Palma Albiceps, which is being bashful right now. Okay, guys, hold on. Okay, here we go. Well, that one appears to be a little bit scared of its food. It's crazy how such a uh, well-armored and armed uh, arachnid such as a scorpion would be scared of its food, but you saw that cricket kind of gave it a little bit of a fright. Maybe it had a little more to do with the cricket 
running up behind it or whatever, but um, didn't seem to actively try to grab it and sting it, so it may be a little bit nervous of its prey. Yeah. Okay, let's check out another one, guys. All right, let's see if this one will do a takedown for us. I had one get loose on the table and I had to do like a fruit fly and just smash it. I do not like pinhead crickets or roaches or fruit flies loose in my house. Baby jumping spiders, baby scorpions, heaven forbid that ever happened, I would be okay with. But there we go. There's the death blow. These animals have such awesome weapons. Tarantula has its fangs. The scorpion has its pinchers and its stinger. So cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to treat you guys to one more takedown. Then i got to end this video because, you know, YouTube's limitations with me and all that stuff. We can't run much longer. All right, guys, and here we go. This is going to be the last one of the night. Hopefully, we get a pretty quick takedown here. And then I am going to say... Farewell and bid adieu to you guys because this video has run long. I can only do 15 minutes at a time and it's already two parts, so I'm at about the uh, 11 minute 50 second range right now. So hopefully this cricket will get on back around the enclosure and to its uh, ultimate untimely death here. They never want to do what you want them to do, especially when you're in a rush, right? Let's see what happens here, guys. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I promised you one more takedown, and I didn't. We didn't get it, so. Anyway, with that all that being said, I hope that you did enjoy this video. Although we didn't have near as many takedowns as we would like, we now know that all of these guys are fed. And they all look good to me. Let me know, you guys, let me know what you think down in the uh, comments. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, a subscription if you haven't already. Share this video and others. Tell your friends about all these cool critters that I have. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this look at all these uh, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this anyway. So, just to let you guys know, you're the ones that are important. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great night, guys. Take care, and God bless.